the next episode of We Are on a Break. Today, let's once again continue journeying through the streets of Munich and the places of this beautiful city of Munich. After months of grey weather, it feels very light to come out without a jacket. Although I have this one jacket, but it's just in case the weather goes nuts. It feels really light and nice to be outside. The plan for today afternoon is to have lunch with my friend Natasha and her handsome son Joshua. And while I was waiting for them, I went inside St. Michael's Church. You've already seen it in my previous video. And here are some more close-up shots of the church. I'm constantly in awe of the stunning architecture of European buildings. The intricate details and flawless design are absolutely breathtaking as you can see it here. For all you football fans, I went inside the FC Bayern store because why not? Munich is the home to the world famous Bayern FC and I was lucky enough to watch them play in a football stadium here in Munich two months ago. Here are some shots from that experience. And here I am at Max's for lunch. My friend Natasha always told me about how good this place is. It was my first time at Max's and it left me impressed. The noodles here are hand pulled and the beef, it practically melts in your mouth. The food here was outstanding. Just remember if you're coming here, please bring cash as cards aren't accepted. After Maxis, we headed over to Naicha, a boba tea spot. Honestly, before coming to Europe, I had no idea what a boba tea was. But thanks to my friend Natasha, I got introduced to it. Naicha is located in Karlsplatz. Not only they serve fantastic boba tea, but also has an ambience that's a must visit for anime lovers. And ta-da! My videographer is back and I'm officially handing over the camera to the camera professional and my crew member. My next stop for the day is the Nymphenburg Palace. This beautiful palace was built as a summer home for Bavarian kings and queens and it is now 325 years old. It's filled with amazing old-fashioned architecture and huge gardens as you can get lost in it. Currently, we cannot go inside this palace but it's set to reopen in August. And guess what? You don't have to go all the way to Venice for a gondola ride. Instead, you can experience it right here from April till the month of October. Welcome to the largest beer garden in the whole world and situated right here in Munich in the year 1791. So let's go. The next stop was Koninglicher Hirsch Garden which translates to Royal Deer Garden also known as the largest beer garden in the world and there are not only beers here but also deers <laughs> that rhymed well okay so as soon as the warm days arrive it invites you to relax and unwind but beer gardens in Germany are always open for fun at be it any season so they usually serve traditional dishes and this one offers Bavarian classics and homemade ice creams during the summer Enjoying this evening was truly a delight, especially with deers nearby. It was such a treat to see them up so, so, so close and watch these little children feed them. So for those of you who don't know what a German beer garden actually is, it is a large open air area where like people so come here and enjoy liters of beer served in huge mugs and which is often had with traditional food, German food. So it's a lively and social environment where friends and families they come together, relax and have fun. And coming to my favorite part of day 2, a few stops on the S-Bahn and you'll arrive at Hackerbrücke. Like I mentioned in my last video, Munich has several places to watch the sunset from and this one is one among the many. 
and this place is such a vibe and in order to be able to enjoy the sunset you can sit on top like you see here and you can see everybody simply sitting on top and enjoying their time with a glass of wine pizza beer anything it's moments like these that make munich truly special where the simple act of even watching a sunset becomes a cherished memory from day 3 from the beautiful city of Munich so today i'm going to georgia restaurant it's another important hotspot here in munich the georgia restaurant is also known for its amazing ambience and the food so my next stop for day 3 was a brunch at georgia restaurant in munich and the restaurant as i mentioned has beautiful decor and top notch ambience but it's not just the atmosphere that impresses us here but it's also the food as well i'm a huge fan of italian cuisine i love how italians have created magic with just a few ingredients and georgia to be honest does it very perfectly the dishes here are simply delightful and the friendly waiters and waitresses add to the wonderful experience Look how beautiful the decor and ambience actually is and just wait until you see the disco bathroom I did not want to cut short any of the parts that I recorded here in Georgia because the restaurant is simply beautiful and I really want to keep all of the parts that I recorded here in the video And tada we are approaching the disco bathroom of the famous Georgia restaurant <laughs> Isn't it very unique If you're hoping for a table at Georgia last minute, you will need some luck. It's always busy. Make sure to book ahead of your visit. After this, I took another small stroll around the beautiful city of Munich. A small walk was the perfect way to soak in the city's charm before moving on to my next activity. but not exactly in a beach so since school i've been very bad at sports so let's go there and see how am i going to cope up with other players players as in they are my friends so yeah i'm the cameraman's friends from day 4 from the beautiful city of munich today is my last day here in munich and then i will travel back to austria and hopefully come here once again i don't know when but before that i also want to give you another information about what you can do in munich so in case the s bahns or the u bahns doesn't work so if you have a valid driving license eu driving license or if you have an international driving permit you can also rent a car through one of the car rental apps 
because today I'm going to rent a car through Miles and I will also show you how you can rent it on the app. I will put it here in the side. This is the English Garden which is one of Europe's largest urban parks. It has so much greenery and it's great for outdoor activities which makes English Garden a must visit destination for anyone who wants to explore Munich. And that concludes my wonderful 4 day journey in Munich. Thank you all for tuning in and for your valuable time. I look forward to creating more videos in the future so be sure to subscribe. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and leave a comment with your thoughts or feedback. Munich holds a very special place in my heart as some of my very dear people live there. Until next time, take care, stay blessed and see you soon. Bye! And that's a wrap to my Munich adventure. Thank you for watching my video and most importantly, thank you for your time. I wish and aspire to make more such videos. Hopefully when I travel again, I will make another video. So until then, take care. See you. Bye. Ciao.